Hey there, in this video I will be showing off my Aurelia build. This build is going to be focused on cryo damage with some sniping in it if you feel so inclined. <laughs> um, we'll just roll right into it. We're going to start with the gear. Um, like with my other builds, the gear is kind of up to you. Um, as long as it's really, as long as it's a cryo weapon or a sniper rifle, Aurelia can make it work. I just have some weapons that I personally enjoy using, like uh, the Machine, the Phrygia, the Omni Cannon, the Absolute Zero. If you get more use out of something else, go right ahead. I'm not going to force you. Um, and uh, these pieces of gear, pretty much the same. Just use whatever you think would give you the most mileage. I use the Shield of Ages because Aurelia is kind of a, like a glass cannon type character. She can do a lot, but she can't really soak up that much damage. But the Shield of Ages does help alleviate some of that. Um, the Privileged class, I mainly use this just for the, the bonus to Frigid Touch, which is a very important skill for Aurelia, in my opinion. Um, the grenade and the Oz kit are not that important. I use the snowball because it's just like a quick burst of damage if you need some healing. And you can use whatever Oz kit. I just have this one because, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go into the skills here. Um, we're going to be largely ignoring the red skill tree because it is very much a co-op skill tree. And I play alone. <laughs> if you do play with friends, you can rearrange some of your points, put it to where it would benefit you and your allies. But for the most part, we're going to be largely ignoring it, except for two points in Duchess, because this will actually benefit you even in single player, and it's just a nice little bonus to have. Um, so we'll go right in the green tree. This is the sniping tree. Um, we're gonna do five in Markswoman and only the best. They're just nice buffs to have. Um, we'll put five into Culling the Herd. Just nice bonus to have. Critical hit, gun damage, yeah. Uh, we'll put one in Long Range Killer, Silver Lining, and Magic Bullet. Very nice skills to have. Um, they're not... These two aren't terribly useful, but, like, they can help out in situations. <laughs> Magic Bullet is actually really nice, though. It gives you a lot of healing, more than you would think it would. Um, we're going to put one in I Never Miss and one in Wait For It. Um, I'm... These skills are kind of iffy, in my opinion. Because they require you to have good aim, which I do sometimes, sometimes I don't. Um, I never miss is better than wait for it, because wait for it only stacks 10 times. And I never miss stacks 999 times. But, yeah, whatever. And then we're going to put, oops, we're going to put two, I guess, into <laughs> warning shot. Just to move down the tree. And then custom loads, it's a nice skill to have, extra extra damage, never hurt anybody. Uh, moving on to the blue tree here, this is the cryo tree, you don't be freezing a lot of guys with this. Um, avalanche, yeah I put 5 into that, just nice cryo damage, uh, extra, extra cry damage, extra freeze chance, yeah. Uh, short summer, nice buff to your cooldown rate, nice buff to your shield recharge, yeah. Uh, frigid Touch. I would argue that Frigid Touch is like half the reason you stay alive as Aurelia because it gives you uh, life steal with cryo damage and you're always doing cryo damage as Aurelia. Like you are never not doing cryo damage. And even small amounts in endgame, it, small amounts of damage with endgame items really do heal you for a lot, even with 22%. Um, Fragment Rain, actually, Winter's Fury, we're going to skip Winter's Fury, and we're going to skip Bitter Repost, 
I don't think either of them are that good, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, Fragment Rain, Polar Vortex, yeah. Extra damage, extra freezing, that's always nice. Uh, we'll do 5 and Frostbite. Um, it is nice to have extra damage against enemies with Cryo, because you know. <laughs> cryo damage. I don't think I need to ring that bell anymore. Cold Advance. Um, it's nice to have a way to extend the duration of your action skill. And I'm pretty sure this is the only way to extend the duration of it. I might be wrong, but yeah. Um, just put one into Winter's Veil because you don't really want it for damage. You just want it for the Nova because it does actually have a really high chance to freeze enemies. Um, Whiteout? Whiteout is a really unfortunate skill because it's actually really good, but when you use it, it, like, covers your entire screen with, like, this frost effect, and it makes it really hard to see. And I don't like it. I like what the skill does, but I don't like that effect. It's so annoying. So, unfortunately, for that reason, I'm going to have to pass up on it. Uh, Winter Tide. Yeah, extra cry damage. It never hurt. And, uh... These last 13 points, you can kind of just go wild with them. Um, I I would put them in Prudent Prudence. It's a nice buff if you get damaged. Um, I never miss. That's your sniper damage. Uh, warning shot. Finish that out. And then this last point, I was really struggling to uh, where I should put this. I just ended up going with Bitter Repost. It's another way to freeze an enemy, I guess. So, <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's that's it overall. Um, Aurelia really surprised me. She is actually really fun to play, in my opinion. To be honest, before this, I had never actually played Aurelia. I This is, like, the first time I've gone through with Aurelia, and she is a lot of fun. Um... Sorry that this video took a while to get out. I just got distracted by, like, I don't know, a large dog running by. <laughs> I, I, I was just doing a bunch of other crap, and Borderlands kind of went to the back of my mind. Um, The next video, next character build, will definitely, definitely be Wilhelm. I promise, promise, promise it will be Wilhelm. And then after that... Probably Nisha, and I'll do Athena last, because I don't really enjoy playing Athena, but I will persevere. We will succeed. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm going to cut to some gameplay here in a second. Uh, thank you for watching. Do all that crap that makes numbers happen. I don't know. Uh, good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah!